What's up, everybody? Hi. Welcome. This is another episode of Fandom News, and this episode we have some fake, unconfirmed news. Fake news? Fake news. No way. There was supposed to be a promo that was supposed to air yesterday. Like a, a two-for-one deal on X-Files? It was supposed to be a new X-Files promo, and it was supposed to air yesterday. Someone on Tumblr said there's a new promo coming, and everyone went crazy and lost their fucking minds, and then there was nothing. We taped... We taped I had to watch two shows on Fast Forward to look for this we thing. Ta- we taped Empire and... Stars? Star? Star? I don't, I don't know what stars. We take these shows and watch them on Fast Forward stuff. to look for these promos that did not exist. So there was no promo. Now, there's a very good chance by the time I edit and post this vlog, there will be a promo because someone on Tumblr said it's coming. Uh, there is a promo that has been released. We're going to do a reaction to it. Mulder and Scully Relationship Season 11. <laughs> glow right now I have my computer out because there's a lot to talk about Mm -hmm. but a lot of it I can't confirm whether it's real or fake no there's just a whole lot up in the air but one thing I can confirm we do have some new photos they're promo photos of Mulder Scully and Skinner Mm -hmm. and I'll put these up for you here's Mulder here's Scully Mulder and Scully, Mulder and Scully, and Skinner. Well, that was quick. The thing is, I don't know where these photos came for because whoever is posting them has not put a source for them. I don't think they've been released to other outlets because they're not being posted. I don't trust that they're actual did real you see, did you photos. See, did you see the ones I was talking about? Yeah, the ones. They always have that kind of like backdrop and they're very... No, no, they're definitely new photos, but they didn't post them in any other news outlet. They mm-hmm. just kind of showed up. And they're not high quality. They're pixelated. Mm-hmm. So I'm posting you the not high quality version because they haven't been released. So I don't know if they were leaked mm-hmm. or what. Not everybody has the so, quality that you aspire to. I can guarantee these are real. Like this is definitely Jillian and this is definitely David and this is definitely Mitch. Are they are they legit photos? Like they could have been. Remember those photos that came out maybe a month ago? Two months ago, maybe these are like the rejects. Like these are the ones they were gonna use and didn't use. Somehow somebody ended up with them in a folder, they got released. You know, there's just such a hunger for content. People are tired of posting the same photos every week for the past 25 years. You know, the people that do nothing but post photos. But you know, I'm sure you're bored with the same old photos too. You know, it's the same photos every week. Yeah, we wanna we wanna see new photos. But um, regardless, um, new new photos. New new photos. Yeah, I, don't want, I thought I was saying nude. Oh, we'd like to see those too. Wow. Do me a favor. If you'd like to see nude photos, please click the like button. Leave a comment below and let me know. So we're gonna continue with the real news first, and then we'll go through all the. Wait, there's actually real news. Yes, David posted a picture in the woods. Into the woods. In the woods. In the woods. Yesterday. He went into the woods. Behind the set. There's also a Throwback Thursday photo of David with Prince Charles. Here it is. There's also a photo Jillian posted of her dog humping stuffed animals. Hmm. That's quality content right there. <laughs> that sounds like, you know, like a Tuesday in the Scully household there. Real news, uh, we also have a video game. An X-Files Android game and also iPhone game. Like we have Stranger an app Things? game. We have an app game. Wow. I don't know if it's going to be like Stranger Things, but we can watch the trailer for it. So this is the trailer for the X-Files mobile game. Deep State. Agent is, Dale. Is that Arthur Dale? There's a drawing. Maybe it's a prequel. Molecules. Director Bowman. Tell the truth. There's someone's house. He has a shirt off. Wait. Wait. The truth is wait, wait, wait. Did you see that? I saw what? Uh, a bounty hunt. I think that was a bounty hunter that becomes Mulder than Scully, and then whatever that thing is. Is there a Mulder and Scully in this game? Because we really need Mulder and Scully in this game. What if it's a prequel with Arthur Dale? Uh, no, we need Mulder and... That might be cool, though. That would Dale's. I think it's Arthur Dale's, Arthur not Dale. Arthur Dale's? Yeah. Chip and Dale? I just want to know if Mulder and Scully's in this, because if there's no Mulder and Scully in this game, I don't really want to play it without Mulder and Scully. Yeah, but you guys want, like, the Mulder and Scully... Like rated X game. No, we don't. I right. want to actually have Mulder and Scully. It can actually be. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of that. Will you download it? Will you play it? I'll play it just for I'll fun. I'll give it a shot. Mm-hmm. So here's a spoiler alert warning. Aunt Simon tweeted something that made us believe that season 11 is going to end on a cliffhanger. I don't know if this is true or not, but this is what the tweet said. Earlier tweet, hashtag X-Files cliffhanger based on Chris Carter saying that he was going to have one. So why not make it a good one and hope slash pray for a happy resolution? 
Just like the end of season 10, cliffhanger means more likely future movie slash seasons. Chris Carter promised me series wouldn't end on that cliffhanger. So things are looking like season 11 is going to end on a cliffhanger. I, I could have told you that. Yeah. Because it's Chris Carter. You have to assume there's a cliffhanger. So if you were hoping that the series was going to be wrapped up, it's not. Yeah. It's going to end on another cliffhanger, and then we're going to wait around another two years, wondering when it's going to be renewed. I really want Chris Carter to go watch Dark. I want Chris Carter to watch The Punisher. I want Chris Carter to watch all these other shows that run 6 to 10 to 12 episodes and learn how to wrap up a season and leave us hanging at the same time. Yes. You never know what these shows when the next release date's going to be. Mm -hmm. So to have a complete and utter cliffhanger that you would expect to have an episode next week to resolve. Yeah, you know, like, like right in the middle. But we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah, like it ends like right in the middle of episode. Like there's absolutely no resolution. Right. Like it's like, ah! X-Files canon doesn't necessarily include the standalone episodes. David himself says the comedies are almost like a separate show. The standalone episodes, the Monster of the Week episodes, are almost a separate show. And then every season you get two hours or three hours, back in the day maybe six, that had this thread with a conspiracy with aliens and everything else, right? Yeah. We're getting one opening episode and one closing episode that are going to be mythology. I hate that. And everything in between are going to be standalones. Sorry, I hate that. So basically we're getting not even two hours of actual mythology. If they are able to wrap it up, I think that's great. But if you're going to start something new and then end it right in the middle, I don't think that's a good idea. At the end of season 10, I screamed and threw something. You know what you can't do is go in with another, like for the 10th time, nothing we said before was right. At least the DC Comics, Justice League, and all these other comic books, Marvel does it too in some ways. You have the multiverse. Like season 10 was like Earth 7. That wasn't like the same Mulder and Scully. A Skull. parallel universe. Yeah. So CSM is actually not dead. He lives in a parallel universe. Right. Well, there's in a this, CSM in every universe. There is, but this... Oh, he's alive in this universe. Yeah, so right. The right. CSM that we saw blow up in the mountain in his face and skin burn off, right. that was actually a different universe. Like 2008 was a completely different, like a that, different multiverse. Especially, I mean, they're still on the boat in that other universe. Yeah. <laughs> Can we have a series about that other universe where Mulder and Scully are on the boat? I'd well, in that universe... Universe. I'd watch them on the boat the whole time. In that universe, Mulder and Scully have like a bass fishing show. And they're out yes. on the boat. Yes, and they're deadliest just bass catch. fishing. They're deadliest, deadliest catch, catch with no, Mulder no. and Scully. No, what's the other show we watch? River, River Monsters. Monsters yeah. Mulder and Scully actually don't look for aliens. Yeah. They look for fish that are that look like aliens. Yeah, they look yeah. for fish that are species that are mystery species. Mm -hmm. So I think Mulder Scully River Monsters is the way to go. Yeah. I would watch the crap out of it. The only thing is, I'm afraid Mulder would go to try and find a fish and like catch and reel it in and he'd fall in and Scully would have to go in and swim and pull him out. <laughs> Moving on to more fake news. There was a list of episodes that appeared that had all the names on them. And I believe that it was released from X-Files Ultimate. I'm not quite sure, but I think that's where it was released. But I saw it all over Twitter and Tumblr, and they didn't really cite a source because when people repost, they don't always put their sources. But we could go through them because they're kind of funny. My Struggle 3, we already knew because someone in the hair department leaked that out on the first day. Carbonisa. Carbonisa. Carbonisa is the Glenn Morgan episode, which is episode two, plus one. It's actually going to be a... Double date. Yeah, I, I was thinking it was going to be a whole X-File about Google Plus. Oh. And how horrible of a social network that was. Or it's like an FBI holiday party. And like, who's your plus one? Oh my god, we finally get the uh, we finally get the episode where Mulder and Scully go to the ball. Yeah. The FBI ball. But with two Our different fanfic. dates. No, that would be plus two. Or Skinner's plus now, one. Now this is funny. I This sounds fake, but also it could po be possible. Is that Jose see? Chung's cousin? Lee Chung's laughable smile. This sounds fake. Or Jose's nephew? <laughs> In her own image, it sounds like a Broadway show title. Mm -hmm. Like the bo a Broadway show song title. In my image, there was a scrimmage. And then the alien came down. I'm probably gonna cut this out. Sarah Gay? Sarah Gay. Episode 6. Another Sarah random Gay. trip to Russia from Mulder. Tungusta 5. Night Voyage. Yeah, that's like the boat at the end of 2008. It's like a flashback to when they got stuck out there because they just kept going out. 
and they ran out of gas, and they're just out there all night. That actually came from the parallel universe. The that's right. That's monsters. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's across. Uh, across unremarkable, over. like the unremarkable house. Unremarkable. This is all about Scully wanting to redecorate and actually remodel the unremarkable house. Yeah, she makes it too remarkable. We also have Spartan. Mmm. Uh, <laughs> this is Oh, that's the one from Karen Nielsen. Oh, that's interesting. It's just like what happened in Sparta. The FBI trains their male agents. Gladiators. Yeah, just it's like the Spartan gladiators. It's actually gonna be crossover with Scandal. Yeah. Gladiators. Mr. Y is number 10. These all sound fake, I'm sorry. They no, I all, thought it was Mr. They X -Y. all sound fake. Mr. Yeah. Y, I'm sorry. I, I'm not gonna say they're fake news because from watch, I'm gonna post this up and watch they're all turn out to be correct. You know what this is? This is like another Chris Carter werewolf picture. Yeah, really. I was saying that earlier today. Yeah. Remember 2008 yeah. when Chris Carter put out like a fake news, fake spoilers, and it was a werewolf picture from like some old movie. In the long run, who gives a fuck about the title of the episode? There's also, uh, this is also just stuff on what's filming. There's some fog. It's basically a filming notice, but there were some spoilers in it. There will be a stunt scene involving a car accident. So there's some spoilers there. There's gonna be a car accident in the X-Files. Who thought oh God, of that? A car chase. An intersection followed by physical altercation between the drivers. While crowds gather around, the scene will also involve our actors carrying exposed something. I can't cut off. Prop uh, weapons. Yeah. As so, well as simulated gunfire. Okay, so there is some action happening in the park. So I understand you don't want to see all this behind the scenes stuff. Maybe you're just talking about like the paparazzi. More the paparazzi. Okay. But the stars themselves, if they're sharing but stuff, But I'm saying I think like it's the, the 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 some of the leaked stuff that's unofficial. Well, yeah, like those episodes. And, and, and again, like part that. of that's me being an artist in the business that wants to respect other artists in the business. Yeah. There's a lot of work that goes into this, and I feel like it's a betrayal of the people that do those jobs. Yeah. You know, the, the fans are hungry for stuff. You know, tabloids exist because the fans want that crap. I, I have never liked tabloid crap myself. I've never bought a People magazine, a Star, a National Enquirer, yada, yada, yada. I don't like any of that stuff. I, I see it in people's feeds, and I mute those people. I'm sorry. I just do. I can't stand it. I think it's a betrayal of the artist, you know, a separation from their uh, their work and their private lives. I, I want that separation in my own life. I don't want to be harassed when I'm out having fun. Um, well, we're not famous. Blah, so blah, blah, blah. No, 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 but I'm saying I, I really respect <laughs> the artist. No, because of what we're doing. Right. Well, except when we go to the concerts, people obviously care what we're doing there, but... Well, yeah, but yeah, yeah the I, I, that's their own thing. What happens in people their lives. care way too much about what we yeah. do, I think. But, I know. Uh, no, I'm, I'm upset that uh, that I don't have real haters. Like, I want people on YouTube to hate me. So if you hate this video and you don't know me from the fandom, hey, you leave a hater comment now and tell me I screw you. We've talked about everything we possibly could. We've talked about way too much. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit a like button, follow me on Twitter, Larissa F. Follow him on Twitter, Walt Frazier. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. I don't care. Leave a mean comment. Just give me some feedback here. We like to hear it either way. Uh, you guys, it's been great. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And everyone out there that's been very supportive, I'd like to thank you guys too. All right? I need to leave you guys with my brick video. I made a bri uh, brick video. It's a little animation. I'm learning animation. I hope to bring you some more fun animated things. It won't necessarily be brick, but it'll be animated stuff. So just look at my little animation. I'm gonna leave you two videos. The first one is cute. The second one is freaky because I made him do a flip and his head does something weird. That's weird. All right, until then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.